When designing connections, we often need to consider bolt layouts acting through a resistance mechanism under which the bolt shafts are ideally not under tension or compression. Such bolt layouts can withstand only shears and twisting moments, in other words, only offset shears by means of a shear in the bolt shafts. Such bolt layouts are described as a shear only. We can deploy them by taking a dedicated field in the dialog box used to add or modify bolt layouts. Shear only bolt layouts have very limited bending stiffness in the CSC computation model. If a bending moment acts on such a bolt layout, then, unless the moment is very small, it will cause high displacements, even if the bolt shafts are only subject to the tension and compression forces that are essential to maintain equilibrium. When this happens, the bolt layout cannot work on a shear-only basis. Instead, it must be treated as a capable of withstanding bending moments too. It must not be shear only. Theoretically, there are only two ways for a bolt layout to be shear only. Either bending moments are absent, or they are absorbed by other shear only bolt layouts or other joiners that work together to absorb them. In reality, no bolt layout is free of bending moments. Even where normal technical practice is to neglect the weak moments of transport of the shears caused by the, albeit modest, plate thicknesses, these moments do exist in CSE's computation model, and they give rise to generally modest bending moments. Besides, a shear always generates a bending moment at a certain distance. If the bolt layout is either connected or statically determined, see lesson 810, and if the connection is completely free of bending moments, as in a hinge, then the bolt layout may be shear only. If the bolt layout is either connected and if there are very small bending moments due to the transport of the computation shears over small distances, then we have two options. Either we leave the bolt layout as a shear only, neglecting the potentially high displacements highlighted by the software, or we transform the bolt layout into a non-shear-only bolt layout, but without specifying any bearing support. In this case, the parasitic bending due to the transport will be absorbed by a modest tension and compression in the bolt shafts. This will not invalidate the checking computation. If the bolt layout is hyperconnected and several bolt layouts work together to bear all the computation forces, then the bolt layouts may be shear only, but only if the bending moments in the computation are absorbed by two or more bolt layouts that, although shear only, bear the bending moments applied essentially by a couple of forces shears in the bolt layout. If there are no such cooperating bolt layouts, or if there are, but they are poorly arranged, then the program computes highly significant displacements. The designer will then need to revisit the connection design.